solving ratio problems with ratio tables and graphs. A ratio story problem is given. We will read that in a minute. Notice there's also a ratio table for us to complete. We will be using the ordered pairs from the table and plotting them on the graph. And we will solve the problem that is presented. Problem reads this way. A bag of M&Ms has only red and green. For every eight red, there are five green M&Ms. There are 24 more red than green M&Ms in the bag. How many M&Ms are in the bag in total? So notice there are two things that we're considering, red and green M&Ms. So let's put R for red and green, G for green. The given ratio is that for every eight red, there are five green M&Ms. So the fewest number of M&Ms there could be in the bag without knowing any more information would be 13. But we're told that there's 24 more red than green. So I know I have to have more than 13 M&Ms in the bag in all. So what if there were double this many red and double this many green? Well, now there's six more red than green, so that's still not enough. So what if there were triple as many red, namely eight times three is 24, or five times three equals 15 green. So notice this is how we complete a ratio table. All of these ratios that I'm putting into my table are equivalent to the original ratio because there's a multiplication relationship that's involved. So eight times four is 32 and five times four is 20. And I continue this way with my ratio table. And when I'm done, I use the information in the table to help me with the graph. Then we go back to the wording of the problem and we see how we can solve the problem whether the graph or the table or both will help us solve it. Okay, so we have nine ordered pairs that I'm going to put on my graph. Red is my first variable, so I'll put it here as my horizontal axis. And for the scale and the interval that I'm using, we'll put 8 and then 16. And this is perfect now that we've taken the time to fill out the table because my graph will be nice. I'm using the numbers that are in the table. And this is good because to make a careful graph, you want to use an equal, um, an equal interval. So I can stop right there at 80. And this one here is going to be my green M&Ms. And we are counting here, skipped counting by fives. And I can stop right there at 50. So now that we've done that, we can graph these points. 8, 5 is 8 red and 5 green. And then I have 16 red and 10 green. 24 red and 15 green. 32 red. and 20 green. And it does not take me long to figure out that these points are all linear. They lie in a straight line. And that is going to be true of any proportional relationship that we graph. So 48 comma 30. So if one of my points is not in order, it tells me that I have made a mistake. 
um, either in my table or my graph. So I'm checking my graph and my table values to make sure that everything lines up. I've got one more ordered pair to graph, namely 72 red, 45 green. Okay. So I could put more ordered pairs, more points here on my graph if I wanted to. I could add another row to my table if I wanted to. So now we're going to go back to our problem that says there are 24 more red than green M&Ms in the bag. And I'm wondering, would the graph or would the table help me um, determine or help me see this relationship more clearly? I believe the table will. If there's 24 more red than green, I'm looking for an ordered pair where the red is 24 more than the green. Well, here it's 18 more. This one here shows that it's 24 more. So this is definitely the ordered pair that I'm, that is going to help me answer the question. So the question asks, how many M&Ms are in the bag total? Well, if there's 64 red and 40 green, that's a total of 104 M&Ms in the bag.